back you guys so this part is just to show me and you guys that it looks like it did good like I pressing out the calibration cube it took like an hour which is fine it usually does and the bed is really stuck good like I didn't even put any like stronghold hairspray all I did was originally I just take the glass bed off the bell plate and then I wash it in a, in a sink like washing dishes and I scrub it with a um, metal scrubbing brush and um, with a rag and soap obviously and it cleans it off really good so now it's really stuck on it which is good and what's tap what I'm tapping right now is just the brim so I'm just getting that off this is just a file that I already had for the calibration cube I keep it on my um, the octo print the file because every time I just want to make sure that I can test it out with the calibration cube just to make sure everything is working all right so that's why I print out a lot of these but it's tapping and doing well like it's nice and stuck and I never used any like glue or like hairspray so that's great so like this heated bed or this glass build plate is actually really well and that ruby nozzle guys is fantastic it's quiet and it doesn't make a whole lot of noise like I did like the brass nozzle a little bit just because I was able to hear the plastic melting here and there whenever it was really pushing out but um I like the ruby nozzle more because it doesn't make any noise and it's not gonna have to have any abrasiveness so I won't have to worry about the the like how the brass one kind of like warps and gets messed up after time so I don't think that's gonna happen with the ruby nozzle so I'm just trying to get this off it's just really stuck on there <laughs> which is fine I don't mind there goes just as long as it gets stuck to the bed and now I got it off let me just set this on the side and here we go so now you see the Z looks fantastic look at that it even has a little bit of a shine to that too and that wasn't the bottom like the Z is for the up and down so the Z actually looks great and the Y is looking fantastic as well and it's all really shiny and this isn't like a shiny type of filament either and then the bottom like you see that gloss from the actual glass bed you can see that it has a reflection like a mirror which is fantastic I, I'm loving this ruby nozzle and the glass bill plate that I just bought so with all that and my new um, extruder um, gear the for the motor for the uh, NEMA 17 stepper motor for the extrusion Ashley is really well working all everything that I ordered and put together Ashley is working fantastically right now so now I gotta do is start making some more parts to make that um, traffic light for my barber because I'm still trying to do that that's one of the reasons why I did all this I'm just trying to feel if there's any kind of like um, layer um, layer lines or anything and I don't feel anything is nice and smooth and everything's looking really well anyway I hope you guys liking this part so uh, I will do a, like a little mini series I guess about trying to help the next person that has the longer LK5 Pro now that I've seen that they had a whole forum on reddit about trying to get it to where it can actually set up a higher temperature I guess they're all trying to get more than 250 degrees Celsius for the hot end so I'm gonna be talk. I'll probably do a little series just to kind of help the people that, that will need that have been asking questions on the reddit form anyway um, so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time goodbye